something like, I don't know, like 85% of men are premature ejaculators. To be a premature ejaculator means you can't determine when you're going to blow your load. You don't have any control over it. When you have sex, it's either going to come now or it's going to come later, but you have no control over it. To have control over your ability to blow your load is to have mastery over your sexuality. It means, hey, I can have sex with you for five seconds or five minutes or 50 minutes if I want. I decide when I'm going to blow my load. And the reason why I think that we struggle with vice and I think these things are correlated is because we don't know how to breathe through the tension. As a man, you have to know how to sit stoic with tension, which, which is either, you know, the pleasurable tension of sexual intercourse or the painful tension of having a boner and wanting to blow your load, but refraining from doing so, or the tension of the temptation of, you know, smoking some weed or getting drunk one day. If you can have that onslaught of pleasure while you're stroking with your wife or that onslaught of a raging boner, but breathe through it, like just calm your mind. Like when, when you're having sex, you have, to re you have to almost be a little pulled back. You can't let your, a man doesn't have the luxury of letting go in ecstasy. A man has, and this is why I say, you know, like think about baseball stats or something like that, right? You almost have, as a man, you have to be objective. You got to pull yourself out of the situation and breathe through the tension. That way you don't blow your load or, or lose your cool and fall into vice. I'm an extremist just like you. So I try, cause I know if I, if I go and okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to smoke some weed. It's going to be a week before I can get back on track. Besides being in a state of mortal sin, it fucks everything up in my life. And so it's better to just breathe through three hours of temptation than going seven days of, well, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing any work this week because I'm high all the time. And then I try to, you know, I bullshit myself and this is what we all do. I'm like, well, I guess I'm just going to take walks and work out. Like, yeah, motherfucker, but that wasn't on the plans. You got work to do. You can't be high and walking around. <laughs> so just don't do it. Don't fall into it. So that's my point. If you're an extremist and I'm an extremist, you know what you do? Don't fall into it. Don't allow yourself to fall into it. It's better to be in extreme discomfort for a few hours while your boner is bugging you or the demons are screaming in your ear about smoking or drinking a thing than three, four, five, seven days of a, of a bender. Breathe through your balls. Breathe through the tension. Sit with the boredom. You see what I'm saying? You got to see it coming and you got to head it off at the pass. You can do it. And you know what that's called, fellas? Self-mastery. What more powerful thing for a man to strive towards? There's nothing more powerful. We have tools, we have ways and means, and we have the sacraments, and we have prayers, and we have paradigms, but they're all aimed to, towards one thing, self-mastery. And it's a worthwhile, it's a worthwhile struggle, bro. So keep going, man.